hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's always my great pleasure to be back here and talk to you guys here <laughs> it gives me much joy whenever i am able or whenever i'm in position to come out and share something with you and thank you so much for tuning in thank you so much for watching and i know we will get better and for that case guys i request you continue subscribing continue sharing out our videos to to your loved ones to your friends to your family so that we get bigger and better <laughs> thank you so much and please press that bell icon press that bell icon so that you'll be notifi notified whenever something new pops up so that will keep us going very well so guys today is a sunday and being a sunday i hope most of you are well rested uh, some of you have been able to go to church welcome back from church and i trust you gone with your loved ones loved ones with you your children your husbands your, your wives everyone in the family yeah it should be a day of gathering family gathering so guys don't go alone go with your people go with your children instill those values in them that's very beautiful those of you are already doing it kudos yeah last time we saw i went and did the test i went and did the test i was in croydon in london um and i was very happy and i promised you guys to come back <laughs> i promised to come back and share with you uh the results how it went but i must tell you it it was good but which test did i do which what was the exam and that was to tell you guys it was the english test we you know we have many english proficiency tests and uh, one of them is TOEFL, is ielts and then also this one that i did i'm gonna i'm gonna share with you my certificate but some of the details will be covered <laughs> for my privacy some of the details are going to be covered yes please so how do you have to do this test and before that where can one have this kind of test there are many centers in the worldwide but at least one that i know that i'm so familiar with and the one that i would recommend in my country in uganda is British High Commission, guys. If the need arises for you to have that test, go to British High Commission uh, website, search for it. All information is there, whatever that you need. But mainly, it is your ID, a uh, pictorial ID, where there is your photo, your your passport photo. That can be mainly that can be your passport. Or oh, I'm not so sure about the national ID yeah but the passport i'm very sure you need a passport so you pay their money they schedule you for a test and they are so good in that during the, the time i did it we we went to kavira country club in that you know fancy hotel so, so you sit comfortably and do your test and uh, after a few it was just a few weeks the results are back and then you get your certificate so and i guess everybody in their capacities know which level that you are needed to take and why do we need this test there are a number of reasons as to why guys we need to take these tests and the first major reason the first major reason like i'll give an example of this country where i am right now the uk most international students apart from a few selected countries but most international international students are required to have that certificate in the english proficiency certificate or english test certificate you must have passed to be allowed to study in the university because the courses are conducted in english so they have to be sure that you will be understanding what they are teaching you'll be under because you know 
for example, I can give an example of Mandarin. You cannot go and do a course in Mandarin when you don't know the language. You need to know the language so that you can have your, do your studies in that particular language. Uh, other people, other reasons why, as why they do these tests are jobs. When you are given a job or when you have a job offer in some countries, or even before you get a job, English test <coughs> is a requirement. Yeah, most people need the I, mm, <laughs> IELTS. IELTS. Yeah, I'm I'm trying to to say it in a, in an abbreviated way. So it is needed. I've seen examples of people job offers in Canada, here, even here. Mm, people were coming here maybe as nurses as what. You all need to have the English test certificate. You need to show that you did this, uh, you need this, you did this test and you passed. So it is very important. So mainly we can we can say studies, um, jobs, not only that, they are also um, needed. The test is also, or the certificate is also needed when you are, um, for example, here, when you are married and you're going to come here on as a spouse, yeah, you need to have a life skills test because they need to be sure you are, you are able to communicate with people because, you know, you are traveling, you're using public means of transport. You need to talk to people, you need to communicate, you need to hear what they're telling you. you you're going to hospital, how will you talk to, to the doctors, to the nurses when you cannot communicate? So you need life skills so in that case um the english proficiency test is a uh, is much much needed and leave those matters aside leave those matters aside but there are general reasons as why one needs to to know english or why you need to have an, an understanding of english we all know believe you know you, you let's agree let's agree english is a global language not only in english speaking countries but most of the countries wherever you will go you will find that people understand english so it will help you as a person to be able to communicate with the people there because of this english many can you know it's hard to find a country that doesn't speak that does the where people don't know english most countries people know english i've been to germany and I, saw, and I was talking to people they can speak in English. I've been to many other countries where I've been lucky to go. They understand English and much as it's not their language. So in that case, English is important. Also, computer. Most, most, you know, most of the, the, the work or the, the information on computers is in English. So you have to, uh, to be understanding English. You have to be able to read, understand, and also hear English. Mm -hmm. what else jobs <laughs> yeah english helps you with getting jobs when you know you have knowledge of english it's much easier to get jobs uh this english will always will also help you to improve your your skills your listening skills your speaking skills because it's a language like any other language so to communicate in any language or oh, you have to be able to have these skills of listening um speaking and also understanding yeah it's how we together mm? so you, you let's agree english is really important important we every person in this world needs to have some some bit of knowledge uh, of english some english knowledge and it's you know it's not a hard language it's not a hard language we love computers computers are english most computers are in English, much as there are other languages, but most of them are in English. And also meeting people, let me say, we have been able to create friendships, to create relationships through communicating in English. So guys, it is very important to, to know English. To have. You don't have to be, a, a, you know, a professor in English, but, you know, best English. So guys, back to the main point. For my case, I did level five. 
and I am glad to tell you that level five, all that test, that, that, that test that I did is for life. Even if uh, I happen to get uh, other reasons, or, or maybe other, yeah, well, maybe other, yeah, basically, let me say other reasons which need me to have uh, English test, guys, I, I'll be okay because it is for life. It's not a three years thing, you know. Like, for example, I ever did life skills with the British High Commission, but it was three years. And after two years, it expired. But this one that I did, level five, it is for life, guys. And I am glad to tell you that I'm going to show you the certificate. <laughs> I'm going to share with you the certificate. You're going to see it. Uh, yeah. So let me take you back how everything was after sitting for my exams. Yes. I think the more I love you guys. Guys, this is how bicycles, this is where bicycles are kept. Uh, yeah, so you, you come with your bicycle, you keep it there. Hello, thank you. You're welcome. So guys, I couldn't show you uh, because uh, in the examination room, they do not allow phones there actually my phone was switched off so i couldn't show you anything inside there but be sure um i'll let you know about the exams but this is the college where i've been it is on amp house in croydon east uh, trinity college you can do some research about it if you want so now i'm going back to our car so that we can go back home <laughs> hey guys now we are embarking on our journey back after the exam i am nervous and excited at the same time i can't wait for the results you know <laughs> it's you know it's mixed feelings but i i trust everything is gonna be okay now let's go back home and wait for the results and see how it's gonna turn out but i i, I know it's positive Guys, there is a tram. Uh, there's a tram line. You know, that's a good thing with these bigger cities. There are different means of transport. There are trams, trains, metro, buses, and also these normal cars. So it is, it, you know, it's up to you to take what you're comfortable with. Whatever that you're comfortable with is what you take. Uh, yeah, and that is good, you know. And it's not, it's relatively cheap. Yeah, that's me posing in front of the building. Yeah, and a few days after that, the results were released. As you can see, I passed very well with a distinction. I am very excited, guys. So, thank you for your prayers. So, thank you, guys. Thank you so much for keeping it here. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking this video. Bye-bye. See you another day. I hope you enjoyed traveling with me to to Croydon, London. Have a nice time, guys. Yeah, don't do what I wouldn't do. Bye.